Hi, my name is Mark Staller. Welcome to I'm Alive Animation Tutorials. I'm going to show you how to rig a mouth um, and animate it so that you can animate it and animate it quickly and easily. This will use fuse this rig. It will completely and ridiculously speed up your workflow. I'm going to do something a little bit different with this because I'm not going to be animating um, the, uh, each individual part of the mouth. There'll be one bone that will, one smart bone that will control all of the mouth and it will do all of the phenoms, all of the shapes of the mouth that you would need to get across a um, believable um, speech pattern from a cartoon character. So I'm going to give you an example to show you what I mean. So uh, check this out. Side, we could find no real reason to let you go. We could have just said that we were dissolving your position or that that you weren't a fit for the team and just lay you off. But then you'd be eligible for employment insurance and we couldn't have that. <laughs> so without your so there it is it's a very simple rig um the mouth as you can see it looks very fluid as it's moving between the the different sounds it is very easy to rig up it's very easy to animate it with with it rather and uh, i think that is going to really make a, a big difference it's one smart bone five points two shapes stupidly easy i'll try and get us through this as quickly as possible without leaving you behind so let's get on with the uh, the tutorial Okay, so this is the rig that I used in that last animation. Um, it's really, really easy. One bone. I'm going to show you right now how how we use it and what, we're, what it is we're actually going to be building uh, using the bone selection tool. Um, one smart bone. The mouth can pretty much do everything. R, E, M, S, F, U, and there you go. Pretty much everything. Um, it doesn't do everything wonderfully or beautifully. Beautifully, it's not going to produce, be producing a photorealistic um, um, animation at all. But it'll be really effective, particularly for those stylized drawings. You might be able to use this um, this idea, this um, technique of animating uh, on other styles of mouth and get better, uh, more realistic mouths. But that will be up to you, and it'll take a lot more effort than I. Um, needed to put in for this um, to use it to animate is quite easily it's quite easy um, you would just pick the, um, the, um, the where you want it to change so we'll have the mouth opening you have the mouth mouth uh, close a little bit maybe it wants to go from that to an O back to an, an F maybe or and then go all the way to an R and you'll see how just easy this is to to use and you don't need to be looking at reference points or you don't need to be switching layers or anything like that you can just use your eyes and then you get the the sound that looks better that looks the best for you there you go did you notice i was doing that ha 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 right and you'll see how easy it is so if we just let that run you get the idea of how easy that is to animate so let's get on with building the rig so i'm going to start a new file um, and this is a new file in Moho. Um, file save. Watch, oh, I should save as. I'm just going to do um, mouth tutorial. There you go. Always save your, your work at the very beginning, even if you haven't got anything to save. It just makes saving so much easier. You can just hit Control S or File Save. And when the the file and if Moho does crash, it does do a, um, a recover op uh, option there. It will. Uh, save some of your work it's a lot easier more reliable if you've got a file saved already so morning out of the way let's uh, speed through this rig it's really really simple um i'm gonna there's one le uh, vector layer in there already and i'm going to call that mouth i'm now going to group that with selection that's the same as creating a group um, and moving the vector into the group just makes life easier if you've got multiple layers you can group highlight multiple layers and put them in the same group really really easy so i've got in here a vector layer i've got that inside a group which i will now convert to a bone layer or a bone group um, i'm now going to build the mouth so uh, watch very carefully really easy at the add point tool i'm going to create the mouth and we'll have a corner of the mouth middle of the mouth opposite corner of the mouth i'm going to go from the corner of the mouth to the top of the lip top lip corner of the mouth Sorry, and then to the corner of the mouth. Now I'm going to do the same thing again in the bottom. So I'll do corner of the mouth to the bottom lip to the other corner. 
and I'm just going to manipulate these so you can see them. Right, oops, that's not a very good one. That's that one there, that one there, that one there. There we go. Oop, got my bones a little mixed up here, or my points a little mixed up here. Here we go. Right, there, now you can see them. They're fairly, fairly clear. Oop. And I started to animate for no reason. All right, so I'm just going to show you what that is. So that is a very simple mouth. We've got the top lip, we've got the teeth, and we've got the bottom lip. And now we're going to build those. So build them the entire mouth first. I do not want that point in the middle. I do not want that middle point as part of this shape. Just those four points on the outside. Create shape. Make sure both is selected so it fills and creates a stroke. Uh, go to the style. Select the colors that you want. I want the fill to be black and I want the stroke to be red. There you go. So in this particular case, I'm, I'm making a female a mouth with a lipstick. Um, so this, yeah, th those are the colors I want. If you're going to do a, a, a mouth without lipstick or a man's mouth, then maybe you want to pick a more of a skin tone for those lips. But uh, that would be up to your design of your character. I'm now going to take the line width tool and I'm going to make the lips thicker at the top and at the bottom. You can see it's looking a little bit more like a mouth already. So that, you can see how that's going to work. Now I'm going to create uh, my bone my create bone tool here and I'm going to now highlight the the teeth shape that I want so this corner of the mouth that point for the middle of the teeth that corner and then the top lip this is all going to be a single shape so I'm going to create shape I'm going to make sure both are selected now the reason I want that I need that lip to be over the teeth so that has to be created as well and now the problem here is of course that the teeth are black I want my heroin to be healthy looking so I'm going to give her white teeth uh, you'll notice that in this particular case uh, it looks like she's got lipstick on her teeth so I'm going to use the hide edge tool drag that across the line to get rid of that line and there you go you can see that that mouth looking mouth like already so zoom in again I am now going to shape the mouth to make it look more mouth like and I'm going to use these bezier handles and these help to as you move them up and down you can see the angle and the the sharpness of that curve goes in. You can even get rid of the, the, the curve altogether and make sharp points. But And if you hold down Alt, um, like on this one, you can see they're both moving together on the same line. If you hold down Alt, you can move those independently. So I'm just going to then just very quickly make this lip shapes. You can use these handles to create that. mouth as symmetrical as possible. Okay, that's the sort of mouth, mouth shape there. And what I'm doing there is I'm trying to give her a bit of a, um, um, an expression that's saying ah. And there, so there we are. Her mouth is open. Um, I'm going to move those teeth so they have a little bit more shape. Okay, the mouth is now set up ready to um, ready to to rig with the smart bone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the mouth the bone layer on the mouth add bone create a bone best practices are to name that bone and it doesn't matter if you have a typo um, but it does bother me so I'm going to do that go to select the bone select tool and I like to bring show the label on there as well so I know what I'm dealing with uh, particularly if I'm building this alongside a lot of other um, facial features that I'm, I'm rigging as well each each action and move needs uh, its own label so you can find it easily so best practice um, now I'm going to turn this into a smart bone so that so right now if I move it odd things happen I'm actually going to turn that into a smart bone so that we can actually um, move that mouth. I recommend, I like to move rather uh, change the change duration, the uh, duration frames to 120 because I'm using 24 frames a second and 120 is exactly five frames. Easier for me, you can leave it at 100 if you like. Um, this works best for me and you'll see that the bones will turn 90, 90 degrees 
and negative 90 degrees on that layer there. It does the same on the other layer. If I go to actions, you can see two layers, one action that controls the bone going one way, the other controls the bone going the other way. So what I'm going to do on this one, this is the first uh, mouth move layer, and I'm just going to highlight the end of the the uh, action there on the frame 120, and I'm going to turn this into an O shape. So, so uh, on the vector, select my points, and I'm going to just select the two points in the corners of the mouth, and I am going to hold down Alt. So that allows those two move to be moved uh, equally on opposites to each other. So I'm going to make that a new shape there, and then of course I will need to um, play around with those shapes there to get that new shape there. I don't like the way that is. That's a good ooh, I think. And if we scrub down there, you can see ooh, yep, that looks good. And now I'm going to go on to the move mouth two um, action that will control the bone going the opposite direction. You'll see that the bone is now moving in the opposite direction. If I, if it will then stop at 120. If I go to the bone layer, you'll see the bone is um, already keyed to frame 120. And now I'm going to make this say a rather big R. So let's get this saying R. We'll get that where I want it, and we'll make that really big. Ah, uh, and that is about as big as the mouth should be. Now, if we read that down, okay, see how that works. That's that's good. And in fact, I think what I will do is move those up a little higher. Okay, and I'm going to test that by going back to mouth move good I think we're good now go back to mainline and then what I'm going to do now is make that mouth close well, actually before I do that I also want to double check these keyframes have got all of those points in so just click on each of the shapes each of the points make sure that all of those have a key layer I have a keyframe there or other because this will screw it up if you don't. There we go. That should be all of them. Now, oh, now if I go back to mainline, I'm going to close the mouth. Now, the reason I close the mouth now and not earlier, I could have started it with the mouth closed. Uh, it's just that makes it a little easier, um, as you'll see as I bring these. Oh, oops, as I bring these points closer to there, you'll see that the uh, these points in the middle there are going to get very close to each other. So I'm just using the bezier handles to close the mouth. And yep, don't forget holding Alt will let those pieces change, and that is about it. Um, and wheel, I think there's something else I've got to do here. Do a test. Right, let's double, double, don't double click, too many double clicks. And then we'll check how's that look. Uh, Ooh, okay, there you go. How's that? I think that is as good as done there. I'll go back there. Now you'll notice that the teeth are staying still, and usually in a mouth, the bottom, the jaw, and the lips and the face move, but the teeth stay stationary there. So that's kind of intentional. And you can see how easy that was to rig. If you've got an exact mouth for an exact character, um, you can see how well that that works and it's animatable. So we'll go back in there again. Show you just quickly how it can be animated and how subtle everything can be. And really all we did was do the mouth, do the ooh, do the ah. And then if I and then if I run that. Okay, that's how easy that is to animate. So as you can see that this is really quite an easy way of animating. It was really easy to rig. And as long as you keep things simple and you don't overcomplicate things, you can do things a lot quicker. And particularly if you're thinking around 
a problem rather than through a problem, you can sometimes just find that simpler way rather than having a bone that makes the mouth open and close and a bone that makes the mouth uh, go narrow and, and, and so on. You can have like three or four bones easily controlling a, a, a rig like that. Uh, you can find it very, very easy to make things easier for yourself if you kind of think it through. If you've got something, hope you like the video, and if you've got something that you'd like me to like maybe look at and try and simplify to help you do things a little easier or something complicated that you're not sure how to do, uh, leave a comment. Um, just leave a note. I'll, I'll read as many comments as I can. We'll try and do as many tutorials as I can. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, share, and all that other good stuff. And um, hopefully you'll see you soon in the next video. See you then.